So what's going on, what's going on, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tay and today it is a bin day. I haven't been here in like a month guys. Oh my gosh, it's been a while. So yeah, got back in town yesterday and I am back here at Palmetto Deals. And you know what time it is. They open in like, what, four or five minutes. Gonna run in around the bins and see if I can find some profits, some profits and more of those profits. Do I still got it? That's the question. Can I search the bins and find some profits? Let's go find out here in a second. I got a nice little sign and stuff. How are you doing? This morning. Good Pretty to see good you. Yourself. Take care of yourself, okay? Yeah guys, so it's been a while since I have been in the bins, but as soon as I walk through the door, I noticed this Revlon immediately. I've sold a few of these actually from this very same bin store. So as soon as I saw it, of course, I had to walk up to it and grab it. As you can see, everybody else in the store trying to grab all of the profits and this Con Air thing. I'm just literally shoving things in my bag. It's been a while and I feel like I'm out of my element a little bit coming in these bin stores because you've you have to be prepared coming in these bin stores because it can get a little bit hectic at times. Not hectic as in people are rude, but hectic as in mentally. It, you got to be mentally prepared to come in these bin stores. And I mean that wholeheartedly. The truth about these bin stores are there are a bunch of Amazon returns. There are a bunch of overstock items and there are a bunch of items that sometimes aren't the best items. And there are some Chinese items in these bins. But if you search and you find the right products, you can definitely find profits these bins are definitely profitable it's just like anywhere else that you go a goodwill a salvation army is just looking for items and the bin is just happened to have more items leon guys stranger <laughs> danger <laughs> yeah i haven't seen leon in forever guys but he did miss this item right here all the items in the bins are only five dollars here Although prices will be going up at a lot of these bin stores coming up in the next few months or upcoming weeks, the price of gas and transportation costs have also went up on a lot of these bin stores. So be prepared if you see your store going up by a dollar or two on their main restock day. So that's just something that you might want to be aware of if you frequent some of these bin stores, guys. And just going back to like duds that you find in the bins, this item right here you have to take your time pull the item out and actually scan it and you see it's only worth around seven dollars and 58 cents being sold on amazon so i had to literally waste a few moments scanning some of these items so that's why i kind of browse over a lot of the items when you see me in these bins i've been coming to the bins for over a year now so i kind of see some of the similar items so i know what to scan and what not to scan sometimes obviously i will miss over items that's just how the cookie crumbles if you go to goodwill you'll miss over an item as well but there are certain things that i like like sealed items like this dvd oh i'm, I'm sorry this is a cd but the cd is actually sealed and it just looks intriguing sometimes when i pick up these random cds they're worth 40 and 50 bucks as you can see this one's worth like 25 dollars. so when i see stuff like that i go ahead and pick it up especially if they have sales comps i was restricted on amazon so i had to go to ebay and just to make sure that i could sell it and if they were actually having sold comps so that's what i'm doing checking the sold comps because it's important that we always check these sold comps and you can see this is selling frequently so these are all the things that i grabbed in the store today i'm gonna keep this i'm gonna keep these shoes this net gear is only worth like around 15 dollars i mean I could get it. They usually sell frequently, but I'm not. I'm going to put it back, actually. Uh, this Rage PC game is sealed. It has like $40 comps on it, but none is sold. I'm still going to buy it just because um, this DVD is selling consistently for like $30 as well. This Alls Ram, I thought it was going to be something good, but it's not. It's just like the gateway, and even though it's really not selling for nothing but like around 10, 15 bucks maybe. So I'm going to put that back. This Revlon, they sell frequently for me. So I should get some pretty good money on that. And then this Con Air, it's an item that I want to put back. But I'm just going to grab it. It's trending. I should make like 17 plus shipping on it. So that's going to be the goal. So I, that's why I'm going to grab that item right there. So those are going to be all the items that I grabbed. And the other ones are what I put back. And I'm done. And I've been here for maybe 20 minutes or so. 42, 40. So I'm now leaving that 
Palmetto Deals. And I'm going to go to the other one in TR. They open at 10 o'clock and I can get there in time. It's gonna take me about 30 minutes to get there. And I have 30 minutes to get there because they open at 10. But anyways, so I'm gonna go there, see if I can find some items there. Found six items here. Gonna go to this other one. Hopefully I can find about five items there or so. And then I'm gonna go home and list all day. That's gonna be the goal for me to list. Actually, I'm gonna stop by the storage building as well because I have some items that I need to ship out. But besides that, I'm gonna list. So that's it guys. Let's go to the Palmetto Deals and see if we can find some good items. So guys, I literally just pulled up. It's 10 o'clock. They already opened the doors. So I'm late. That means people are in the bins right now finding profits. But I'm still gonna find something, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see you in a second. There you go. So as I was telling you outside, I pulled up at exactly like 10.01. They were opening the door. So as I was getting out of my car, it was 10.01. When you come to this bin store right here in TR Palmetto Deals, you have to get there right when the door opens. The store is too small for you to be able to come in and get profits after everybody else has already ran through the store because the first three people in essence have the opportunity to take all of the profitable items. So you'll have to do a little bit more digging in these stores. In the bin stores to really find profits, you're gonna have to dig. If you're not a digger, you're probably gonna complain about the bins and say you're not gonna find profits. That's just me being honest and that's just the truth. Because sometimes you can go to the bin store right before they close and still find profits. I mean, that's just how the cookie crumbles. You can walk into almost any store and find something. I mean, I really honestly believe that. But you see, I find this U Dreamer. It is a record player. I decided to check comps on it as well as this Con Air. We seen I grabbed the Con Air at the other store. So when I saw it, I grabbed it. If I purchase it at one bin store, I'm going to purchase it at another bin store. But as always, we pull up eBay comps and we see exactly what it's selling for. Always check these solds. And you can see right there that it's sold recently. And it's only going to cost me $5. So I don't mind picking it up. Maybe I can make like around $17 or $18 profit on the very low end, but maybe a little bit higher. As you see me pick up these K9 Advantage pills, I've seen these before and I've sold these before for like around $25 a pack. So I'm definitely gonna pay $5 for two packs. In essence, I'm paying 250. And then I find another one. So to me, that's profits. And I've already received offers on these for like around $18, I believe. I think my price right now listed is $22, but they're gonna be profit all day long. So as I continue just searching the bins, I mean, we have to dig. That's what I just do. I just dig and try to find certain items, certain books, certain whatever. Guys, I sell everything. If I can list it on eBay, I will probably sell it. If it's not nailed to the wall, yeah, I'm going to sell that as well. So that's the name of the game, guys. Just digging, digging and digging. And if you know anything about me, you know that I am a 49er fan and my girl she lives in michigan so as i go through these bins and i saw this bag i was like okay this is a san francisco 49er bag it's a clear bag and i was like hey, maybe i should get it and then just really digging in the bins continuing what do i see this michigan bag that is clear i've always seen like small little signs like this it's crazy how that happens so shout out to you baby and uh michigan and back to the digging but that's what i thought about when i saw that anyways guys so i like checking books checking the inside of books going through the bins and just digging that's the name of the game i think i can't say, i think i've said digging a thousand times in this video i did end up finding one more of these con air three in one hair dryers so i did buy that and i did really purchase pretty much everything but we'll go over everything here in a second So I'm probably gonna get everything that you see in this bag. We just seen this at the other Palmetto deals. I mean, again, they just sell frequently. That's the main reason. And this is uh, one of those turntable things, I guess, I don't know. These pills, they sell all the time for me, like 30 bucks a piece, so, or 20 bucks a piece, 20 to 30 bucks a piece, so I'm gonna get all that. Not too bad, one, two, three, four, five items. Five items again, I said I wanted to get five items, so. So that's it for Palmetto Deals. Uh, we're gonna go to the house and go over all the items that we got. You've probably seen everything in the corner. I tried to let you know as I was getting all of the items, but you know, go to the house, wrap everything up, wrap this video up, 
and we're gonna call it a day nice what has it even been two hours since i left my house and found some pretty decent profits nothing to blow you out the water but some decent profits for my first day back on a wednesday for the bin store so um yeah that's it guys i'll see you when we get to the house okay guys i am back at the disaster that is my house right now i have inventory all over the place from my sourcing adventure then i went sourcing today and you see i went to two pound metal deals and i also just stopped my storage building to grab my orders to ship out i did ship out orders yesterday around 18 or 19 or so after i came back from vacation i have about what nine ten orders i need to ship out now i'm gonna go ahead and just talk about the orders that i'm about to ship out that way i don't have to do a whole separate what sold video and also the items that I grabbed today. So the items that literally just sold for me a few minutes ago, it's gonna be the Swahili, one of the Swahili, well, Swahili DVDs. Found this item on a fill of bag day a long time ago. It's supposed to be selling for like around 50 bucks or so, but you know, on eBay prices, they are different. And then when I got all my inventory sent back to me and tried to send it back in, it got restricted. So I couldn't send it in to Amazon anymore. I guess they went through all the inventory and said, you know what, we can't sell any more Dino Linguos. So that had to go on eBay instead and eBay prices are just a little bit cheaper. So it sold for $27.77. Gonna profit well over 20 bucks on that item. Then we're gonna have this three pack of Cristala, their water filters. It sold for $29.99. I got that item for $5 on at Ben time on a $5 day after fees and everything and I get it shipped out. I'm gonna profit well over 18 bucks on that item. Then we're gonna have this digital design book. Yes, we have a book. This book was probably found on a filler bag day and if not, maybe a $2 day at the real deal time, which that place is officially closed down now. So the real deal time is closed down. Got that book for two bucks. It sold for $27.77. After I get it shipped out, I should earn way over $22 after media mail and everything like that. We're gonna have another fab day item that sold. It's gonna be this Nil Med sinus inhaler thing. It sold for $11.11. .11. That is definitely a fab day item as well. As well as these pills that sold for nine or $14. They sold for 14 bucks. These knack pills, um, they actually sold, got found on a filler bag day as well. You know, all filler bag days usually pay for themselves. Filler bag days are always coming in the clutch. I have so many items that get sold for on filler bag days. Then we're gonna have one of these McAfee security systems that got sold. This item sold for $9.50. It was found with like seven of them on, on a $5 day. So that one pretty much is paid for that batch that I got. Any other sale will be all profit, which more should sell hopefully. And I actually use two of them for myself. So, you know, you can't beat that. Then we're gonna have this pack of 3M Coban self-adhesive cohesive bandage wraps. Never thought, I'm not gonna say never thought they would sell because obviously I wouldn't buy them. But on Amazon, they were selling pretty decently and each individual one is selling, is selling for like five bucks a piece. Leon actually grabbed this one day and didn't want to buy it. So I went ahead and bought it. Glad I did. I purchased it for five bucks and it sold for $46 and the buyer's paying $5.99 to get it shipped. It's going to cost me like around $12 to get it shipped. So I'm probably only going to profit like around $38, $9 on this item when it's all said and done. And then we're going to have my very first local item that sold for me. Somebody bought this on eBay and then sent me a message and said, I'll just pick it up from you locally. So this Nubilizer, I got this item for five bucks at Ben time. Uh, and it sold for $25. The buyer isn't paying shipping. I think we end up, they, they ended up paying like 30. I took a best offer of 30 bucks because I will give it to them locally. So they didn't have to pay shipping. So after that $5, I'm gonna make what? Well over 20 bucks on that item. And then we're gonna have the other eBay account, this dog DNA test. I got this item at Palmetto Deals actually on their $5 day. I didn't think I found anything that day and then I found this and then this item was a good item that got found. Obviously, it sold for $111.11 and I only paid $5 for it. Somebody actually saw this and was like, hey man, I'll give you like half of retail for it. And I was like, you know what? I'll just take my chance and see if I can get it sold. And I'm glad I did take that chance. So I wanna say his name started with, maybe it was Chris, but somebody, sorry, one of my Instagram followers who also watches my YouTube channel. I'm glad I didn't sell it to you for 40 and end up getting $111 out of that item. This computer part also sold for $130 on that same eBay account. Got that item for $5 at Palmetto deals as well at the new one in Belton. So those are all the items that I have to really pack up and get shipped out today. And then let's hurry up and go over all the items that I grabbed at the two stores that we went to today. So the first Palmetto deals, I say we, we grabbed this Rage game and this other CD right here. Again, the Rage game, I think I saw counts for like 40 bucks plus. This DVD, I think I saw counts for like 25 bucks plus. Then we have well, the Revline that I've sold before. I can sell this open box for over $30. 
this Con Air thing, like I said, there was trending for like 18 bucks maybe. I only paid five bucks for it. I'm gonna make all the buyers pay shipping so I can guarantee that I at least double my money plus some. Then we have these non-resistant slip show, slip resistant shoes. Sell for like around 50 to 60 bucks normally. So maybe I can get like around 30 to 40 bucks make the buyer pay shipping. And then this stand, uh, this locking ultra modern rotating table stand. Guess it's supposed to be pretty popular. I scanned it and it has some pretty good comps for like $30 as well. And those are all the items that I got at the first Palmetto deals. Then I went immediately in my car and I was about one minute late when I was pulling in the parking lot. I saw them opening the door for everybody. But we have these K9 Advantage pills. We've seen me sell these before. I want to say again, like 30 something dollars a pack. But I have four packs. I paid $10 for four packs. So hopefully I can turn that into like 40 plus bucks. And then it's like table turn system. That's what it looks like to me. A table, a turn table system. I don't know. It's, you know what it is. Selling for like 30 or 40 bucks, I believe on eBay. And then we grabbed two more of the Con Air hair dryers. So we have three in total. And those are all the items that I grabbed today at Palmetto Deals. And that's my whole sourcing trip for the day. Now I'm gonna have to pack up these orders and prepare to get those shipped out. Um, if you ever wanna see me do a, a full packing of my eBay orders video, go ahead and leave that comment in the description as well. I might actually do that, just do a video of me actually going to my storage building, grabbing my orders and going through the entire process of packing and shipping every single order that I may have that day. So if you don't mind seeing something like that, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. I'm sure a lot of people know how to ship already, but maybe some people just wanna see how I do it. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, we have work to do and don't forget to bless somebody today because I promise you I'm gonna bless somebody tomorrow because that's what we do. And don't forget your prison of profit convention tickets and that's about it, guys. That's it. Tay, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta do some work. Don't get mad at me. I gotta go do some work. But make sure you bless somebody today because I promise you I'm blessing somebody tomorrow. At this point in time, your boy Tay is out.